Hey everyone, Aninda here and on this video I'll be showing you Resurrection Remix ROM which is based on Cyanogen Mod 12 or Android version 5.0.2 on my Samsung Galaxy S3. So uh, to install this ROM is pretty simple, I'll uh, provide the link down below where it will direct you to the XDF forums and uh, from there you need to just root your phone and you need to be on the latest build of stock ROM and uh, root your phone just install a custom recovery like CWM and uh, flash this uh, ROM zip file using that uh, CWM and uh, that's it now coming to the ROM uh, this is the lock screen you can uh, directly go to the dialer from here but currently I, I haven't inserted any sim but sim uh, calling and all everything works fine you can directly go to the camera from here unlock just like this this is the main menu it, as you can see it comes with lots of applications pre-installed this is the dialer this is the contact application This is a messaging application. And this is the keyboard. This is a multitasking tray where you can see all the apps running in background. And even you can uh, just kill all the application by using this button or you can swipe like this this is a notification bar which has lots of toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, emergency calls airplane mode, portrait or landscape cast screen, location and flashlight you can uh, go directly to settings from here here we have uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage on more settings we can uh, select the default SMS application. Here we have network selections. NFC is there. Here on resurrection tools, as this is a resurrection ROM, so we have resurrection tools. We can customize the interface and the status bar from here. Lots of options to choose from. On miscellaneous, here we have those animations. We can uh, do some changes on the lock screen shortcuts. Same goes with the buttons. And uh, this is the change logs. Here on display we have uh, normal options. But uh, we have adaptive brightness which is the auto brightness. Sounds. Here we have notification light options. You can uh, change the notification color. Battery light as well. Here we have snooze timer and timeout. On display, uh, here we have daydream ambient display. Ambient display is awake the screen when the device is picked up or notification arrives. We can uh, change the font size. Next on storage, here uh, as you can see, I'm using a 32 GB model. This is the battery graph. Here on user settings, we can create a guest user or the owner I mean the admin and this is the privacy here we can uh, add some numbers if we want to uh, add those numbers in blacklist this is a blacklist pre-installed on this ROM now talking about the performance uh, here we have installed the anti to benchmark and uh, it gives a score of around 26,069 which is very good 
for the phone of this class and uh, now coming to the camera here as you can see the camera is working fine and uh, let's try to shoot a video video recording works fine let's try to play this, this let's try to play this video and I'll just turn off this even auto rotation works as you can see guys The picture quality is really awesome as you can see, it's crystal clear. Now coming to the music playback. Music playback also works great. And uh, after installing this ROM, you need to flash the G apps. I'll also provide the G apps uh, link on the video description. So after installing the ROM, just uh, install the G apps zip via CWM. And uh, guys, uh, here you can see Play Store is working fine. And I've just installed that um, Google Music application from Play Store and downloading, and everything works great. Here we have a battery saver built in. and uh, once you see this orange at the top that means battery saver is turned on you can uh, change this color by going to this battery saver menu and uh, change the color from here and the battery life of this ROM is pretty decent it's not that great as it's a CM ROM so battery life is pretty decent I would say not that bad either and every application works fine even chrome everything works great this is the gallery application auto rotation works just fine and i've tried to play asphalt date on this phone and it works really awesome but it's smooth so all in all it's a great rom and uh, if you want you can install it and uh, try it on your phone I will provide the link to the every uh, download sources like the ROM, the G apps and also the original XDF forums and the call quality on this ROM is crystal clear I have no problem on the receiving or any receiving or sending messages or using data calls everything works great and uh, this is the default browser which comes in this Android Android browser all in all guys it's a great rom you can uh, install it if you want thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video then hit the like button thanks for watching it's on in though take care